What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we got Rogue again, 28 gauge, different show, stay tuned. So we kind of filmed this backwards, should have did the stock choke first, then went to the compound choke, but the reason and why, well there really is no fancy reason, it just was in the gun, and we're trying to get it done, but what I'm going to say is, the comp and chokes and improved modified. This is a full, no steel. This is designed for their turkey choke. Um, but what we're going to do, same thing as the comp and choke. You got the both rogue alphorins, 28 gauge, two and three quarter, ounce and five eighths. That's a ton of shot in a 28 gauge, going 1038 feet per second. One on tops, nines, one on bottoms, nine and a half. Now, I've been absolutely slammed with life and work and all that, so I have not been able to gauge pin the stock choke yet. Busy season is still busy. Turkey season is nuts how busy we are. We've been on a steady grind for, since when, January? Pretty much filming January, all weekend, yeah. every weekend. It's been a grind. I mean, this is busy season. Might have had a week off here or there. Not very many. Yeah, when we went to West Virginia and Kentucky. <laughs> Vacation. <laughs> Green heron. So I will get that gauge pinned. I, we will know what it is. But let's just get right to it. We're running out of sunlight. We got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, the gun, you know what we're shooting. My new baby. I still can't believe how light this gun is. By the way, clear firearm. Safety first. Don't just latch onto a gun check it i did just latch onto it that was a what not to do uh red a400 explorer action 28 gauge stock no steel turkey choke let's uh let's shoot the nines first just like last time left side nine and a half right side i actually think the nine and a halfs are gonna be pretty impressive but let's get right to it once again iso tunes ear pro i was stupid too long I want to be able to hear turkeys when I'm old. Huh? What? I only got one my ear in. No. But we will be uh, doing this going forth. Setting a bad example. Don't be like us. Wear ear pro. Yeah, kids. So once again, Beretta A400 Explorer Action. We got the stock, full, no steel turkey choke. We have the nines first. Let's throw them in there. Let's see what it does at 40 yards, left target. I hear a green heron somewhere. You're good? Yes, sir, left target. Yes, sir. I'm going head hunting on this. Oh! That could have been a bad mistake right there. <laughs> Dude, I was pulling the trigger and I seen movement. I thought it was a dog. <laughs> I almost just dumped a robin on camera. The old Randy Johnson on the target range. <laughs> Did you see it fly through? I I don't know if I saw it on there or not. I saw it when I was looking up. We almost just Randy Johnson won as Moose referenced. I was just about to pull a trigger, saw movement. A robin flew through right through my right through my, my reflex. It would have got dusted. <laughs> that would have been bad. That would have been really bad. I would have laughed. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Okay, let's try this again. We should be okay now. Man, he would have got smoked. A lot more open, yeah. it looks like. Centered up. Yeah, it, it does look perfect, but maybe a touch high. Nine and a halfs are in the gun. Same choke, same gun, clearly. Let's shoot that right target. Running out of daylight. Good? Yep. All right, let's eat. A little low. Yeah, that looks like it shot low. Man, that's shooting them shells out there. I don't even know where that landed. Let's go down there, scribble some circles. Let's get right to it. All right, so once again, both rogue offerings through the stock turkey choke supplied with the gun. Compa choke's better, I'll just say that. Let's get right to it. Now, there's not really any sense to crouch down. As you can see here, 
this is a really big backer, all right? This covered the whole backer. I mean, yeah, you got some shot. I mean, he's dead. But, I mean, this is blown way out. Um, it's safe to say that the Rogue and the Stock Choke did not perform as well as the Viper Ammunition did with the Stock Choke. I actually like that pattern. This is blown wide open. I mean, I can't discredit it because it, it would kill him. But you got to be really conscious with your shot. I mean, if you're at 40 yards and you're letting her eat, and there's a bird within, well, about three foot, I would say safely about five feet, you got problems. Unless you can shoot more than one bird in your state. We can't in New York. You should never shoot at group turkeys. It's just unethical in my opinion anyways. But especially with this setup right here, I mean, this would not do it. This is just not good performance. Actually, this is the worst I've seen so far out of the stock right here. But there's not much really to say about it other than the fact that it's blown wide open. I mean, yeah, it killed him, but there's more to a pattern than just the golden BB, as people say. I want an efficient pattern because I want to know for a fact I'm killing birds. This is way too open for me. Now, if you had a youth and you're shooting 20 yards, it might be a good option, but not our style. Let's look at the nine and a half. See, at least this has something to work with. If you zeroed into it, you know what I mean? All right, so this is the nine and a halves. Now, at least there's something to work with here. I mean, that's uh, there's a lot of shot right here, but it's the same thing. I mean, it's blown wide open. Actually, this will fill it in right here. Look at that. Some of them are glitter. Yeah, those are two holes. But... I mean, you can see here, this, it just once again, the Viper ammunition and the stock choke, I believe that was nine and a half, so this is the purest test we have with it. It shot better, but at least the nine and a halves had something to work with. The nines didn't at all. But I can't say that this is good either. I mean, the performance is about even. Not our forte. Um, for waterfowl, this would work, but for turkeys, there's better options. Let's look at them side by side. All right, so once again, nines on the right or your left, nine and a halves on your right, my left. You can see that the nine and a halves at least have some shot pattern to work with, but both of them performed about the same, blew wide open at 40 yards. Uh, I actually expected this to shoot a lot better than this, but that's why we say you have to pattern what you hunt with because a lot of times you'll find yourself surprised by the actual performance you're taking a field. This would work, I would say 30 and under. At 40, you gotta be really conscious of what you're shooting. I wouldn't hunt either of these, to be honest. Waterfowl, yeah. Turkeys, no. But once again, that was the Breda A400, Explorer Action 28 gauge with a stock choke, no steel full, supplied with the gun. With both rogue offerings and nines and nine and a halfs, that is an ounce and five eighths of shot. I mean, that's a ton of shot. But as you can see in this, a ton of shot ain't always a great thing. I mean, that's blown wide open. That's blown wide open. If you're hunting ducks with it or geese, maybe not a bad idea. Turkeys, not the brightest maneuver. I can tell you that. But we got a lot of tests coming. Broadhead tests, gel tests with shot. We're going to extend back. We're going to start doing 60 yard, 70 yard patterns. We got lead coming. We got a busy summer. We got food plots. We got duck plots. We got turkey plots. We got a lot of stuff to do on the channel. We're going to film it all. We're running out of daylight here. It's, it's getting about 830. It's getting to be that time. We're trying to get a couple more tests in. As always, smash thumbs up button for you boys. If you're looking for no BS, honest, Performance Talks, The Rest Walks, testing. You found your channel. That's how we do things. Check out the content if you're new. Subscribe. We will be doing a giveaway at 15K. We'll be doing a bigger one at 20K. But guys, we got to get moose on the gun. Be on the camera. As always, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. We will catch you on the next one.